Kelly's box <laughs> of treasures. <laughs> that sounded wrong. Uh, someday, now, <laughs> I'll, someday I will have gone through this and it'll be like in a box. So this is Kelly's Survivor stuff. Yeah. You can ignore the wheels of my suitcase there. Huh? So okay. take, take us through. What do we have here? So this is my Survivor Canteen. Mm -hmm. It has a K and an S up there. It looks like I must have engraved it. Obviously, I'm not very artsy. And it has purple on this side, so I knew it was mine. So you got given this on day one, basically? Yeah. Where, like, this is your water bottle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And one time I went, I chipped it. That's also how I knew it was mine. Uh -huh. One day I went to get water, fill up water for everybody. And so the lids were all like, they were all on, filled up the water and didn't put them on <laughs> tight enough. So I got back to camp and realized there were out of like 10 of the waters, there were only lids on like two of them. Oh. So I had to backtrack and go find everyone's lids because I like literally lost them the whole way. How, how did, oh, because you, right, did you find them all? Oh, it kind of still stinks. Yeah, I did. Do I need to smell what Survivor smells like? Yeah, it's like a like okay. that musty water smell. It's really weird. Can you smell it? Yeah. It's weird. But that's exactly like what it smelled like out there when I would drink it too. Wow. There you go. <laughs> Isn't that weird? That's awesome. <laughs> weird. Yeah, it's super crazy. These lids are like finicky. Oh. Cody. And he's our, he's our star of the video. Cody. Yeah. Now. This is my canteen from Bob's event at Durham Warriors, which is also just as important. And we played a trick on Jason one time, like dirt, like while we were filming for Durham Warriors. Jason, like moral of the story, tribes got switched. Jason left his canteen at our campsite and we had won a reward earlier in the day. Mm -hmm. So we won like a bucket of beer pretty much. And one of the like producer helpers came by and said was talking to us. I said, oh my gosh, you have to bring Jason his canteen. He's not going to be okay without it, blah, blah, blah. So we convinced this guy to bring Jason his canteen, and we'd filled it up with beer. So when he went to go take that big sip of water, nice. it wasn't water at all. And how did he react to that? <laughs> he loved us forever. Awesome. This is my buff. Obviously, Cody like knows that it smells bad. So that's your merge one? Yeah. Can I smell it? Yeah. Is it a, uh, uh. It kind of smells not too bad though. That's not worse. Not dirty. Wow. Can you I see know. that? Isn't that funny? There you go. Yeah, so this is I don't have my LaFleur buff, so this is like my only original. Mm -hmm. I don't think I do. This is my only original buff. So yeah, it's definitely dirty. It's funny, it's like we wear this as a top, as a headband, as a skirt, as everything. I don't think I'd fit into it as a skirt anymore. <laughs> This is our LaFleur buff, but I never wore this one. This one was just for... It was like an extra extras. one? Yeah. So did I, they like, give I that to you? It. Oh, you bought that yeah. one. Right, right, right. So what happened to yeah. your other one? You don't know. I don't know. I think we threw them down at the tribe change. Okay. Or at the merge or something. These are my clothes. Uh-huh. <laughs> so dirty. The infamous purple belly bikini. I don't think I even... <laughs> So this is the one, so they basically bought this for you from what we've discovered, yes. right? so my, Cody, get down. <laughs> my bikinis that I were buying were not family appropriate. They were too skimpy, so showed up to Nicaragua, and this is the bikini they had purchased for me. It's like, I, like, like, literally, it's just dirt. <laughs> Did you, so you didn't wash it when you go back just to like keep it as kind of like No, a... I haven't washed anything. My wow. dad threw my tennis shoes in the washer and I almost killed him, but... Because you want, you want to keep that authentic, yeah. that yeah. authentic but nature to none it. none of this was ever washed. These are my bottoms. Wow. Oh my god, they're just like... But you washed them sort of when you were out there, like as in yeah. you kind of... I mean, I never washed them like from that last day. They, they haven't been washed since then. So wow. they were washed... Gosh, I don't even know. I was, really wasn't probably good at washing them out there either. Wow. Yeah, these are my underwear. <laughs> We're just filming Purple Kelly's underwear. I mean, cool. these are dirty. Like, <laughs> don't, don't sniff this them. This is the dirtiest pair of underwear I own. <laughs> don't sniff those. <laughs> <laughs> I won't ask to sniff those. Like. This is my dress. Aww. So they ask you, like, you know, they want you to bring, um, they said... A good interview outfit dress. Mm -hmm. So this was the dress. This was one of my favorite dresses that I ever owned. I don't even know if it has a tag now. I don't even know who it is. And is that the pre-approved CVS Ugh. bag that they give you? Smell it. Oh, do I want Stop. to? Stop. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what is that? 
Whoa. <laughs> it's like musty campfire. That's... Do you still smell the fire? Yeah. That's strong. I'm going to go smell the underwear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. That's, um, that's going to bring back some memories. Yeah. I mean, as <laughs> you can see, like, when I slept too close to the fire and the sparks would, like, burn it. Wow. I mean, this is dirty. What is Cody doing? He's just trying to be at home with you. Oh, we'll get those buttons off. Oi. Oi. Cody. Stop that. Down. Get down. <laughs> get down right now. Down. Down. Good Go. boy. So, yeah. So, these are obviously still very potent. Yeah. I can actually still smell that dress. I know. Like... And that's literally, like, imagine that's actually, oops, that was still, oh, pretty, like, intensified. <laughs> Even now when I smell campfires, I'm like, there's, I love campfires, but there's a part of me that I'm just like. Bad memories. It, yeah, it's a little much. This buff doesn't smell so much because I, like, kind of still does. Mm -hmm. Did you smell it? I did, I did smell it. Yep. <laughs> you did. Yep. Smell <laughs> test. It's still, uh, like, I take, I've taken it so many places with me. Yep. It's like my little pride and joy. This is my bag that I had. So that the only clothes that you have that you wore out there? Yeah. So this is what CBS had me in. That's it. That's it. So that's why Fabio had to lend you his. Yeah. I did have a pair of like yellow spankies though. Mm -hmm. Um, because my dress was a little bit sheer. So for filming purposes, instead of just the underwear, they gave me some yellow spankies. Which, um, before I left, I gave to Holly. So Holly, I don't know. I'm sure she still has them. That's crazy to think, like, people, like, you think back, like, the old school contestants complain that the new school contestants get it all given to them now. Go back yeah. and watch the original first three seasons when they've got, like, changes of wardrobes. They've got raincoats. They've got everything. Uh, yeah. That's all that she had to wear. Fits in a ziplock In the bag. most rained season there is. Like, that is insane. That is crazy. Really puts perspective on things. Mm, yep. Oh, my socks. Oh, no, I'm not smelling them. Obviously, I haven't <laughs> even unwrinkled these from when they came off my foot. Oh. <laughs> they smell just like everything else. God. Wow. I don't know what these are. It must have been things I stole from challenges. <laughs> I literally don't know that I've even gone through this bag. So is that so is that like your bag pre-game or did they give that No, to this is our bag that we got like on the first day. Everyone gets a bag and this is like the satchel that you wear to tribal council right. and everywhere. So um, I would hide my goodies in here, but you wouldn't want to hide like an idol in here because... Sometimes bags get switched and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I always tried not to get like my bag switched because when the merge came, I hid some food in my bag. Oh, what did you hide? I, had the, I took a bunch of chocolates and I hid them. <laughs> so these are my shoes that I wore while I was out here. These were brand new when I went out there. Yep, they look very brand new. Ugh. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> like literally, like what is this? <laughs> And then these are the shoes that my dad washed. Oh, they actually look pretty good. They do look clean. They still smell though. You can still wear them, right? Yeah. <laughs> and um, this is, what is this? Chloroquine. Take two tablets per week only on Thursdays. So this was our chloroquine. Our malaria tablets were kept in here oh, okay. during the game. So did they have to tell you when it was a Thursday, given you didn't have a calendar? Or did you have your makeshift calendar, um, like, on the tree or something? We definitely had a makeshift calendar, so we mm -hmm. did well at keeping track. But I don't remember. There's some sand in there. Mm -hmm. And then there's sand in my bag and some seashell debris in here. There you go. That's the Survivor <laughs> internal bag. There yeah. You go. So it's not a lot. I guess there's a little shell. <laughs> Smell it. It uh -oh. smells like everything else. Mm, it does. Actually, it smells. It smells that's more musty. So weird. It's more musty than the other ones. It's like it just never goes away. <laughs> so bizarre to me. So I have all these are all my goodies. I don't have a lot, it's but some. it's definitely a lot of memories. I have all my seasons of DVD on here. Nice. I mean, all my the DVDs of my season. So did they give that to you, or did you like pay for Actually, it? Marty gave that to me. Oh, nice. Yeah. Here's some of the jewelry I wore while I was out there. I have the earrings somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Mm -hmm. Actually, they're in my jewelry box. I had this bracelet. I loved this bracelet. It was like a little wrap bracelet, and it's absolutely destroyed now, too. 
Makes Everything sense. I wore out that was destroyed. My infinity necklace. Oh, nice. Important to me. And then my little bracelet. Sometimes I still wear this when I need good luck. Oh, cute. So, yeah. I'd like to put it all in a shadow box. But those things, mm, I maybe I won't. Actually, the yellow one I might not. Because I still like that one. Okay. Yeah. You know. Never know. These are my my 30 seasons of Survivor magazine. Mm -hmm. Someday these will be auctioned off. So are they all signed by the people in the front there? Or? Yeah. So, well, like some, like Jeremiah saying this one, it looks like he's not on the front. Uh, Sandra. Is that Boston Rob? Queen. Rob? Boston Rob. Yeah. So, um... I need to get some more of these. I was explaining. So maybe I'll take them to Hearts Reality. Well, I was explaining to Jillian because she had a bunch of them last uh -huh. week. Yeah. And that um, I, we couldn't get them in Australia. Uh -huh. So I tweeted out like, oh, lol, someone sent me one and yeah. randomly sent me a copy. So yeah. I do have a copy of it. I love this. I think it's so awesome. Um, but I have. Now are you God in it? Can you, you find yourself? And all you do. Yes, let's find us. Or find me. Got it. So I haven't even like really taken the time to look through here, but I don't have Ozzy. I could use Richard Hatch. Definitely some still people, some people that still need to sign it. Yeah, I didn't, Ozzy didn't sign the other day. I got my photo with him, but I didn't get a, uh, Ozzy signature, sadly. So. Oh, I saw Morgan. Here's top 10 steamiest castaways. And where are you on there? I'm not on there, but I'm proud that our Brenda made it. Nah, uh, you're yeah. holding Brenda. Come on. Morgan Look should at her, be. She's beautiful. Yeah, I never got. The, I never got the Brenda thing. I just didn't get it. Morgan's so beautiful too. Yeah, Morgan. Her, actually, this is a good group. I am proud that. I, I think all the Survivor chicks oh, are hot in their own way. So in love with her. I think I discovered puberty when I was fourteen and fell in love with Elizabeth. <laughs> it sounds so creepy. Oh, that's funny. There you go. Here we are. So season twenty-one. Jane signed it. Of course, I signed it. I probably didn't even know it was mine when I was signing it. Look at you. I, see. I need to get it back so Fobs can sign it. How'd you go on that challenge? I kind of remember that challenge. Okay, I was the second one out. Sash dropped, and I dropped right after. Right. I was so bad. I was so weak. <laughs> Jane actually won this challenge, right. and it was the one that Chase like kind of slipped up on that Jeff called him on. I don't know if he really slipped up or not, but Jeff said, "You're out." So were you were you still Jane in the game won. when Fabio peed, peed in the pool? Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. that was um, the challenge that they won. They got to like go milk their own milk. <laughs> that was the challenge. Can you we... can you recreate your famous line for us? <laughs> you get to like go milk your own milk. <laughs> That formed a good part of our introduction oh, for many years. Your I first know. ever, your first ever confessional. Well, when I did that interview, I remember seeing like what I thought to be a coconut on the beach behind me. So I was like super infatu infatuated with what I thought was this coconut. So I was like, couldn't even think straight, couldn't even talk, couldn't even listen. I asked the producers, can I just go get that and then come back over here? And they were like, no, you're almost done. You're almost done. So I was like literally crazy in the head over this coconut that was like washing up and down <laughs> in the waves. It's like, you know, ice age where the yep. squirrel has to get the nut and they're yep. like crazy. That was me with the coconut. So that's how that line came to be. <laughs> in all fairness, it's totally, yeah, totally crazy. That's funny. So I have a bunch of like other... Some other random things in here. Book um, of Nicaragua. This is a big, yeah, this is, so this is a big book of Nicaragua. This came from, CBS gave this to oh, nice. us. Yeah, we each got one. So it was really cool. I haven't gone through it yet. Is that just like the, really the history of Nicaragua or yeah. something? Yeah. Like oh, that's mm -hmm. cool. We have our, um, oh my gosh, my leg is falling asleep. <laughs> um, this is our the island safety guide that we got. So like, you know, you're at Ponderosa for a week before you actually start the game doing mm -hmm. interviews and whatnot. And this was, um, yeah, one of our safety guides pretty much. So it tells you like about mosquitoes and signs and symptoms of dengue oh, wow, fever so cool. and malaria. Yeah, it, they went over like how to braid the palm fronds. So they actually tell you how to do all that sort of plants. stuff. Plants. So how do you remember? Like, I would not remember that. I, yeah, like, well, how to braid the palm fronds, like, they tell you how to do it, you practice for, like, just short, like, a brief moment you get to practice, um, but as far as, like, some of these things go, oh, like, crap. you don't really, yeah, these were apparently things that we were dealing with, um, which I don't even see the howler monkey, 
The Howler Monkey. Oh, because it wasn't dangerous, I guess. So this is the part where it would break the shit out of me. Yeah. Yeah, so this was like a moment of like, holy shit, like this is about to get real. Mm -hmm. So really cool though. Oh, this is that. how it tells you how to braid, do your shelter. And then it just took us a while. Like I remember Alina being really good at it, but like some of us couldn't figure it out. You must clear the land where you're planning on building your shelter. It's very important to remove any leaves, rocks, sticks, branches, and crush air. An area that is not cleared may act as hiding place for small and dangerous animals. There you go. And tells you how to build. Look at that. Yeah. Tells you how to build your roof. That is really cool. Yeah. Split the palm down the center spine. The first leaf bends down towards the right and bring the next leaf down crossing over the first. Do this the rest of the leaves from the left to the right until they're too short to weave. I have no Ours would be that so loose mm -hmm. that rain would just go straight through that first night. We like obviously didn't have very much done. We were the young tribe. We were, were in the water in like two seconds without <laughs> being on the beach. And um, we were soaked. We couldn't even we couldn't even believe what was going on. I have never I did not know that that was part of it. There you go. Yeah. I'm learning something here. Yeah. The island safety guide. That's clever. I like it. I know. Unbelievable. So how do you okay, and so then, that's given to you before the game. So how do you keep that then? Do they just keep that back at camp when you leave I the must game? I must have put it in my suitcase, I guess. Oh, uh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Because you've obviously got a suitcase filled with other clothes when you're not on the show. Right. So right. you pack your suitcase. So actually what happens is you, but leading up to these moments, like a month before you go out, although I didn't even know I was going to be on until a month out. So three weeks before you go out, they start doing wardrobe stuff. They're in touch with you. They let you know what colors to wear, what colors to bring. You send them pictures of your outfits and bathing suit and they either approve it or disapprove it. So mine was a lot of back and forth and they, um, told me like so one thing was as simple as underwear like of course I didn't even like think about it and I sent them like a thong and they were like okay no that's not gonna work you need like full covered underwear not even thinking like oh I'm gonna be living in them mm -hmm. and so um and then everything had to be like I think it was like yellow or like orangey um or pink those are I think the colors I had to choose from I'm sure I still have all those emails too <laughs> But um, it was a lot of back and forth, and then you send them everything that has been approved. From my hat, to my rain jacket, to my shoes, to my interview outfit, and everything. Mm. The, I mean, my interview shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Including jewelry and everything. And then you bring your suitcase along with you. So I packed for like a, a big suitcase, because just in case I needed everything, I wanted to have everything. And... Um, you can live out of that suitcase like the whole week prior to actually playing the game, like during your interviews and stuff. So they only present to you this out, like your outfit, your interview outfit, like the day before the game. Right. That's so it was kind of, yeah, it's kind of interesting. So you could sneak all that in there then, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, yeah. That's cool. I've never, so, never heard of them giving away a book like that before. You're the first person to... First season, I guess. I'm in jail for this. <laughs> Don't worry, right. Nalia last year tried to get a contract. She brought a whole contract out. And we were oh like, oh, God. maybe we shouldn't be filming this. Yeah. So. This is our safety school. Um, it just it says Friday, June 11th, 2010. So crazy. I must have been taking notes because I said malaria, sunscreen, and bu bug repellent. Mm -hmm. Like, use Was this out there shells. when you were there or before you left? No, while I was there. Use hollow fruit shells to collect water. Like, I thought I was going to find fruit shells. That's precious. Sand is an exfoliant. <laughs> <laughs> this is obviously my number one problem. Can we, can we right see, here. Can that That's what she's actually I should have just wrote and, wrote and, right. written down milk your own milk while I was at it. <laughs> We'll not be seen for seven episodes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, camera crews and producers work 24-7 on the beaches you call home. We do not want to step in your waist, nor will you appreciate sitting in your own waist during interviews. Do not crap near your shelter. Seriously. Find a suitable area away from your living quarters and water source. <laughs> you must dig a pit for bowel movements. Bury the waist. Designate an area. Staying clean means staying healthy. Wow. You must... Let's do that again. <laughs> You must boil your water to kill parasites and bacteria. <laughs> Obviously. I'm sharing that photo. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I mean, this is just... Tend to your wounds. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's so funny. 
Yeah. Turtles and endangered. T turtles are endangered and off limits. Do not touch or handle them. We tried to eat a dead, um, a dead turtle that washed up on the beach, and that was still a no-no because it was endangered. So even a dead one you couldn't. Yeah, even a dead one. They so what did the producers say? Like, no, no, don't do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I think they had to call in too to try and figure out like what to do because we were le like legit gonna eat the dead turtle. It's really actually. I guess sad. I guess it's just covering their ass. I don't want to film you eating yeah. it. So they got, um, Colby got into trouble in Australia and Outback for taking coral from the reef on the Great Barrier Reef because that's yeah. like big no-no. Yeah. You, you don't touch coral on the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah. So I think Mark Burnett had to pay like a, a fine on his behalf or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hermit crabs. It talks about crabs as a food source. Um, tells you find a long stick, shave the end of one side down to a point and create a crude spear to get them out of their holes. Sea armadillo. Oh my god. They're, like, we didn't have all this stuff. It's so interesting that they actually, like, give you a guide on how to... And, like, this kind of seems to be, like, a later season thing because through all the things that Nalia was showing us mm -hmm. from Marquesas Season 4, like, she didn't have any of this. Yeah. And, like, even... I don't, I don't know if T-Birds or Africa had this. So, like, this must be, like, a the seasons go on later, like, because obviously, yeah. you know, they're trying to help you out a little bit. Yeah. Ah, uh, you know, and we had the, like, the, um, one of the number one, like, most poisonous snakes or the, some kind of sea snake thing. Mm -hmm. And so there were experts, like, around the per perimeter, like, locals, that if we were to see a snake, we had to let them know so they could come and, like, remove it from the property. Oh, wow. Um, or property. F from our home. Yeah. <laughs> our wild home. And, um, we saw snakes occasionally. One of them washed up, and it was actually one of the really deadly ones. And oh, wow. so they had to come and get it out, but... Yeah, so it's kind of funny because it's like as secluded and as alone as you feel. There's a lot of like hidden support throughout. Because you're, you, I'm guessing because I know for, for a lot of the newer seasons, you're not allowed to leave the confines of the, like you've got a perimeter, right? Can you? Yeah. Because I know in a lot of the older seasons, you could kind of go wherever you wanted. But like I feel, is it now that you are confined into a more? Uh... Well, we could definitely go like wherever we wanted. I think sometimes like you feel like yeah you can go wherever you want if that's like where you want to go but like why would I want to go so far mm -hmm. in one direction you know if you're on an island obviously you can go anywhere but ours um there were like a little bit of perimeter set up but never that we even questioned like surpassing it was just not even it yeah. wasn't something we were worried about we often would see like little fisher boats off our shore though and we're like do you think we could swim to those and just like have them take us away and we well, yeah bring us a fish yeah i know wow. i know and looking back it's like oh my god i should have done that but nicaragua is supposed to have like in one of their lakes they have the freshwater bull shark and then in the ocean they have the saltwater um, crocodile, Because you're not... Because Nicaragua isn't there a problem with the water, like you can't go out. And that's why there wasn't a lot of water challenges or something? Probably. Cause... It was supposed to be... Like, I didn't really... I knew it a little bit at the time, but I didn't know how dangerous it actually was. But yeah, the... So the river mouth opened up to our ocean and that, like, was the pathway for the... I think it were crocodiles that they could pass the ocean to river and being i mean jane would get in the river and i'm like holy crap like that's like asking for a problem because i'm pretty sure there was a lot of complaints here about like not just your season but all the seasons that were filmed there that yeah there was not a lot of water it was not a beautiful country to mm. beautiful culture yes but as far as like compare it to fiji or thailand or samoa i mean nicaragua was definitely that's where they're filming one the, the New places. Zealand one at the moment that's on TV. is filmed at the exact location yours was filmed. So that's yeah. on TV right now. So you know like. what you have to look forward to. Mm. Yep. <laughs> oh, gosh. Whereas that's the Australian totally one, they're filming in Samoa. So they've just gone, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it says in the... I, I guess I should go through my island guide. <laughs> to um, don't poop where you eat. Yeah. Water safety. Don't go into the water alone. <laughs> <laughs> Must be important. It's all in bold. Wow. Yeah, purifying water. But I think I was like they talked about the animals. Yeah, and we were. Oh my god, hundreds of bug bites covered in bug bites. It was horrible. Doesn't show any crocodile here though. Did you see the big ass spiders? Um. We. Oh, this is the snake that washed up. This one. 
lower the heart rate, lower the spread of venom, lay down and splint the area. <laughs> that's just that's just your medical background there. You're you know. <laughs> no, I had like none. <laughs> that doesn't count. Oh man. These are the crabs that we ate though. That we often had the bush crabs. We ate a ton of hermit crabs. And we had some Halloween crabs. So totally crazy. Wow. Totally crazy. I love how they just These give you a my... book. That's cool. I know. Yeah. These are my letters from home. So we um my mom, like while I was away, CBS showed up at our house, like with their big news van, their all their cameras came into the house and wanted to interview my parents, like, you know, for the the sprint yep. uh family challenge or like where they present you with the family video. And at that time they also asked for like the handwritten letters, which I totally read these the other day and it like made me cry all over again. I literally hadn't opened these or read them since the moment like can I, I got can them I read on a bit or are they too? Yeah, no. This one's my favorite. This is my Bailey, my Fonzie, and then my Hobie and my Rusty. <laughs> my Aww. kitties and my puppy. So yeah. These are Alright, I'm just gonna read a bit of this. <laughs> hey, easy breezy, how are you, sweetie? I can only hope, and I am praying you are warm and enjoying that bug diet we talked about. I'm betting my boring diet is a lot tastier than your <laughs> selection right now. I can only imagine. Well, Kelly, we have always tried to give you room to wander, thinking uh, I may have ever done at this time, overdone at this time. This is the ultimate of wandering girl. Oh, that's so sweet. I know. I love you, Kelly. Love mama. Aww. <laughs> Isn't that so sweet? So that's your mom and then that's your, yeah. that's your dad. I love you Kelly, we're so proud. Oh my god, your dad's handwriting looks like my dad's handwriting. Accomplishments, I know that you'll pay out with and outlast your opposition. There is no doubt for that. Aww. I feel like I shouldn't read them, I feel they're too private. That's so nice! Yeah, they're so sweet. I don't think I've ever like seen that. I think like Nalia had hers, but I didn't get to sort of like see them. I and of course, so, you're, so you left the game just before the family visit, so... Right. Yeah. So my mom got her vaccines and everything to go, so at that point she knew I was still cruising in the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was kind of hard, and then when they told her, like, you're okay, you're not going anymore, she knew I wasn't anymore. Right. So, but these, I mean, talk about, like, a bus full of survivors. Like, we all, we were headed to the, headed to Managua, headed to the airport, and they passed out these letters, and like, you know, we totally had no, we're not expecting this mm -hmm. and we start opening them and like within like five minutes not even five seconds like everyone was bawling their eyes out it's like <laughs> it was so insane so wow yeah i'll post these someday you should probably this yeah my mom she kept was talking about everything she knew i'd be worried about <laughs> which is funny my dad says survivor an opportunity of a lifetime that'll generate memories and friends for life the scrapes, nicks, and cuts you'll end up with on the outside of your body will generate character on the inside. I'd be like, what's the uh, score on the sport? Who's been winning? Whatever. I know. <laughs> I know. There's no doubt you'll prevail because of your integrity. Be honest to your tribe. Be honest to yourself. Survival strength isn't always physical characteristics. Survival will be a mental challenge, and you have, an, you have as much capacity to outthink your opponents as anybody else. Stay positive and stay strong and stay focused. I'm like, oh my god. Aww. So cute. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy. Aww. I have the best family ever. Aww. But yeah, oh my god, talk about an emotional bus ride. Mm -hmm. It was just, like, just that we're all so excited to go home and then it, like, hits you like, holy shit, we just got letters from the people <laughs> that we've missed the most for the last, like, two months. So that was really cool. That was actually one of the best moments, probably, of everything. I'm trying to see what else I have. I have, um, this is actually a shirt that Jason Rasmussen designed. I'm gonna say so it have looks this like this for he's... auction. I saw he wore that shirt when I was with him. Yeah. So how many, how actually, many? Actually, I think a perk of this shirt might be that it also smells like my survivor stuff <laughs> now. <laughs> there you go, so when she auctions that off eventually, people. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a little smelly. Um, and then, oh my god, here's my dress that I did all my pregame interviews in. My little sleazy tube top dress. <laughs> yeah, I loved this stupid thing. So funny. But this is my dress that I did all my um, 
my interviews in before the game started with right. like people and e-news and good morning america and yeah who would have thought yeah so crazy little miss famous these are my my autograph cards from russell locaine he sent me these <laughs> yep so if anyone wants any i have plenty well it's it's funny actually because uh our good friend cable i remember randomly post i think i told you this before he like randomly posted me i've got i've actually got a fridge magnet i think with that picture on it of oh, you oh that's oh yeah and I, I we would call it a stubby hole but i think you call it a koozie yeah so i've got a purple kelly in, in a bikini koozie <laughs> And I remember when I got it, I'm like, thanks, Kayla. I don't really think my then fiance Louise would appreciate me putting that picture up on my fridge. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> so I've still got that in my survivor box somewhere. So, yeah. Actually, I don't know where that bra is. <laughs> it's <laughs> not in there. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good question. Yep. Who knows? You gave that to Holly too. Maybe I did. Maybe that's one that never made it home. <laughs> I have, this is a shirt I got in Nicaragua while I was there. Tonya was the beer. So this is like really my only local souvenir is the shirt. Nice. Yeah. I think I got it for my roommate at the time. And then when we moved out, I decided I wanted it you back. You wanted to, yep. Yeah. So then I have some other shirts from events, which is really fun. This one. Oh. Oh, this is another Hearts of Reality shirt. Oh, nice. Another very exciting shirt. Um, I got, so there's a shirt that somebody makes for all of the survivors that's in here too, somewhere. I have a giant reality rally t-shirt signed by everybody. But don't you we do? Go survivor calendar. Yeah, this is from Russell O'Kane. So this is like, he printed this for me. Oh, that was Hearts of Reality 2016. Oh wow, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> so many fun memories. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah. That was from Durham Warriors. Mm -hmm. So he did all sorts of cool things. He's like awesome. He even made me my fireball with my name on it. You and your fireball. Yes. That's mm -hmm. you know You love your fireballs. Yeah. Um, where is that shirt? I guess I'm missing a couple things. Oh, I have my own Jamie Newton autograph <laughs> card. Oh, this says to Lee. That's my mom. Oh, wow. Doesn't even sign one for you. No. I left my uh, Ben Waterworth Survivor Oz ones at home. Oh, Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, maybe it's in here. So I have... You got your more buffs. I know. This one's from Tim Lannister. It was on a bear, and it kept falling off the bear, so I just decided What's to that caramel it. one, is it? Yep. And he got it for me because it's perfect. Aww. Yes. I see what he did there. But I know. Oh, this is the shirt I was talking about. This is, um, was made and sent to us. We got it so late for our season, but it's my Purple Kelly shirt. Uh -huh. That's cute. And, sorry, do you, am I going too no, fast? No, no, you're right, you're right. There you go. And then this is the front of it. So somebody makes that for like everybody for every season or something, do they? Yes. And I forget his name, but we all got one and it was like, I mean, this is incredible. LaFleur Tribe. Patrick too. De... Is it Patrick? Yeah, I think De it De is. Too? Oh. Yeah. I can smell this, that. So it smells like... It's got an interesting smell. It smells like everything else. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this must have been really up against something. Ugh, well, that's cool. Scent brings back memories. <laughs> I'm just making like her like... PTSD moment. Yeah. She's like, Ben, why are you making me view all this crap? <laughs> so... Let's see. God, so many things. Am I going so slow? This is like the journal that we got while we were there that we could write in. Oh, so you were allowed to write in like a journal. Yeah, they gave it to us for after the game. Oh. Uh, yeah. How much did you write in? Uh, not very much. What was it you're writing? How neat is that? I, my, I'm like very anal. Holy crap. It. Yeah. Nice journal. Oh, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a notebook aficionado, so it's a very nice looking notebook. Yeah, I know. I should have. I should have written in it more probably. You should have, yeah. So... Oh, here's our psychologist card <laughs> from Del Mar, California. Now we're neighbors now. Okay, there you go. Yeah, and then a card from Holly, it looks like. And from Marty. So lots of, lots of little goodies. 
Keep me in touch. This is from, this is, so I went to go get my camera developed. They give you a camera for after the game. Oh, really? But it had been in with all my stuff and was too moist, and so none of the pictures I took ever ended up, like, developing. Oh, bugger. So I literally, like, they gave me this, like, roll of... <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Look at all those photos. I mean, I've tried so hard, and I've looked so many times to, like, see if I can even find anything, and it's like, there's, like, nothing. Hmm. I mean, it looks like there's some biceps happening here in this one. I don't know what we were doing. <laughs> God only knows. <laughs> those are biceps. Yeah. <laughs> so the film, I was like, there's no way you can salvage it. And she says, no, where was your camera? And I was like, ma, <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. Oh my God, that stinks And too. is that your, your pass for the finale, is it? Or? Yes. Oops. The final episode, December 19th, 2010, in Studio City. This was my VIP pass. Where did you go? Right I know. For Survivor Nicaragua. There you go. Yeah. Compared to like this little shammy little thing that I got a week hey, ago. Hey, that's cool too. <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah, this stuff still for sure stinks. There must be something in here because this whole bag actually really stinks. So then I got like some shirts. While I was, actually, these are from. I think my mom ordered these. They're like regular Survivor shirts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've told wearing. you plenty of times that uh, Jill gave me. I've got the signed yellow one from all you, all you guys. Yeah, How yeah. How many do you have hidden in there? I have a lot of LaFleur flowers. Just like, don't tell anyone I'll get robbed. LaFleur. I think they actually gave us this though. Oh, that's a nice yeah. bag. I've never seen that bag before. Yeah, they like gave us this. I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is from our finale. Yeah, that's the one is... I've got. I've yeah, got that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Dr. Jill sent me up with that exact yeah. shirt. They used to hang up on my wall. That's the only one that I've got the entire cast signed. And it's yours. I know. I seriously need to get this stuff in a frame. I mean, this is all, like, yeah. my life, you know? Got a survivor room going on here. Yeah. Yeah, and then I have some more buffs in here. Whew, stinks, so... though. I don't know if there's anything. <laughs> can we can we sneakily look and see how oh, many how many buffs do you have in there? Kelly S. Wonder medium. Does it say anything else? Yeah, I know. Compliments of CBS Consumer Products. So I got this whole little bag from them. Nice. But yeah, it came with a video game as well. The like the actual Survivor video game. Yeah. Was that the Wii one or was that the computer one? I feel it might be the Wii one. Um, that would have come out around about then. And it wasn't a very remember. good game. It wasn't a very good game. Yeah. This is one of my Sharpies. It has my name on it for signing autographs. You can actually have person. Sharpies with your name on it. From, this is from Hearts of Reality. Yeah. Oh. Super They fancy. go all out. It still though. smells good. Only thing in this box that does smell good is the <laughs> And then I found this little bag in there. This must have been God knows what. What's that Nicaragua money, is it? Yeah. Oh. Wednesday, June second, two thousand ten. Malaria tab. So this must I must have gotten one from my doctor, I guess, and then some money. Oh, this is from Nicaragua receipt. I can add that to my. I don't know what palace. <laughs> <laughs> God knows where I was. Looks like I post tribal for one week. Take one pink tablet and one white tablet per day. Do you think that would still uh, be appropriate to take, or do you might... Uh... My nursing judgment says no. <laughs> yeah. I, I, my non-nursing judgment? I'd agree with you. <laughs> Gosh, so many little things. Oh god, is this a plane ticket? Yeah, Miami to Managua. Like, are you kidding me? The fact I even still have this? See, I would do that though. I would totally I, yeah. keep stuff like that. I just was in such a, like, a mood and a vibe when I came back to the United States that I'm glad I did still keep this. Yeah. Oh, this was in my suitcase when I got to Nicaragua and opened it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I know. I know. Actually, it's funny. Um, so, prescription stuff. God, so many things. I'm so proud of you. Another note from my mom. <laughs> So uh, every notes. bag I opened, I'm sure there was a note. What is this? Houston to Miami. So, mm, who knows what I was doing? <laughs> Managua to Miami. Yeah. 
man, so many things. How do you strike up that conversation on the plane when you're on the way to Nicaragua? You, you're next to somebody. Uh, I'm guessing you have a handler, but like somebody next to you is like, oh, so what are you doing in Nicaragua? Oh, just going to film Survivor. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> chilling. <laughs> you got like Actually, a handler name. Anyone like, asked up. me. I think we were kind of just told not to talk to anyone, and mm -hmm. I'm sure I had headphones and just did my thing. Here's a little Nicaragua here for so many days. Your visa? Yeah. Um, so when I got to, I, I flew Phoenix to Miami, I got to Miami, was bawling my eyeballs out with my mom, checked in, like I was with, um, some of the CBS people and they came in finally, had to take my phone, take all my stuff. Like I had my suitcase. I literally like they, like I had nothing, no way to communicate at that point. And then I had no idea, like. I didn't think to like look up where I was going like I looked it up to an extent but I didn't look up like specifically what beach or how we were getting there what airline or any like spoilers I didn't I didn't look up so my mom we weren't a hundred percent sure where I was going my family only knew I was going to Miami at that point because they dropped me off at the airport with a ticket to Miami so um, I got to Miami took they took my phone and everything so I had my wallet that had like a stamp in it randomly and I had a stamp in it. So I wrote on the little hotel pad like my flight info and just like my last like I love you so much note to my mom mm -hmm. and um, left it in the room and hoped to God that the like maid would see it stamped and send it. So I found out she did send it. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So my mom could at least like know that I made it to Nicaragua and that was in fact where I was going. Oh, nice. So that was really, yeah, that was really exciting. Kind of crazy. Cute. Yeah. But gosh, I think this is all just like random event stuff. I don't even know what this stuff is. I've kept like all the fan mail too, like that I've received. So that's how much fan mail did you get? Oh my god, I've gotten so many things. And it's like, I know it's like still, that stuff is like somewhat scattered in boxes. Because I have like a lot. So how does the people just like look up your address online or something like that? Yeah, and, just... and at the time I had a house phone and so people would like call my house phone. Wow. Yeah, and like one guy kept calling and like singing and like playing his like, music to me. Yeah. And do they... And do they positive? Like, I mean, obviously a lot of people would have been yeah. angry that you quit. Like, did you ever yeah. get any negative? No. I didn't get any any negative mail, not one single negative mail or phone call or anything, thank mm, that's God. Good. Nobody really had my phone number though. This is from Hearts of Reality, a little care pack and like social media tags and everything. Must have been my first event. They knew I had no idea what I was doing. It's cool it's cool to think that they that yeah, you get that fan mail. You yeah. know, like I, I like obviously They literally just like find out where you live mm. like she's kind of creepy in a way but it's still like <laughs> yeah it shows up and i'm like so excited and then i think wait how do you know where i live yeah and then it was like i'm i don't even care at that point so it's kind of funny but so many things i don't know if i have anything else in here oh this this is from jason my letter how he said it was so great to meet you at arts of reality this year oh there you go, yeah. Jason. He's so great. He's been a fun friend to have. Some Durham Warrior stuff, some stuff from, this is the buff from Missy's event um, mm -hmm. in Texas. Uh -huh. So this is kind of a fun buff. They should do something like, maybe they'll have this in the upcoming season, the Heroes buff can look like this. Yeah, I think we did that on an episode. We thought they should do like camo print or something yeah, like that. Yeah, for sure. I think they should too. Change up the buff style a little bit. Oh my gosh, this must be like not even from the United States. Yeah, this is from the Czech Republic. Oh, wow. I know. So insane. So do you, do you reply to them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, God knows who will see this. It's actually really funny because... Um, like some people, I've gotten a lot of mail from the Czech Republic and they'll send me money <laughs> to pay for return postage, but sometimes they'll send me like a dollar amount of money, which is, I appreciate and I send, kindly send back to them because mm -hmm. it's like, I'm so tickled by the time that I'm still getting mail and it's yeah. like a, almost a decade down the road. It's like, I don't really care paying for it, but, um, sometimes they'll send me like their check money. <laughs> And I don't even know what it's called. And it's like, I don't even, I can't, 
pay for this and I don't I can't I'm not gonna go to the bank and like fix this yeah so I, I just think it's really it's like they're really trying you know well, we well, they um it's obviously quite big over there because we won back to back they had a Czech Slovak reality website show and mm -hmm. we for two years in a row won best international show on the Czech yeah. Slovak reality award so yeah, they get into it go us they love it <laughs> I know, it's not so funny. It's so funny. I don't know what this was for. Oh, Survivor, Purple Kelly. Yeah, so many things. I think that's it for all my like Survivor stuff though. Well, thank you for sharing. I've been yes. intrigued of all this sort of stuff. This is my my box of my box of fun. Kelly's box of fun. Yeah. Coming soon to <laughs> my a theater very near you. smelly box <laughs> of campfire must and starvation. Thank you for watching <laughs> Kelly's smelly box. Yes.